What's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. A school concert sold 32 adult tickets and 40 student tickets for a total of $632. On another night, 20 adult tickets and 34 student tickets were sold for a total of $458. We have to find the price of each ticket. So notice that we have enough information here to create two equations. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna introduce two variables. So X is going to be the price of the adult ticket, and then Y would be the price of the student ticket. So that's what we're gonna be finding. And notice that with these new variables, we can create equations with information. So 32 adult tickets and 40 student tickets when those amount of tickets are sold, we get a revenue of $632. So 32 adult tickets times the price of each adult ticket, 32X, plus 40 times Y equals $632. And then it says on another night, 20 adult tickets and 34 student tickets were sold for $458. So we'll have 20X plus 34Y equals 458, like that. And now notice we got two equations, two unknowns, and we got to solve for X and Y. So a couple of different ways we can go about this substitution elimination. What I'm actually going to do first is try to simplify these equations first. The way you could do that is if you could divide everything by the same number, then that corresponding equation that you get is going to be the same as the original one. So notice that with this first equation, we can actually divide everything by 8, I believe. Right? So notice that 32 divided by 8 is 4. 40 divided by 8 is 5. Then we got the 4x, we got the 5y, the x and y in front. Then 632 divided by 8 that would give us what, uh, 70, uh, 79? And so now this equation, 4x plus 5y equals 79, is the exact same as that original equation that we had. So notice how this is a lot more simple to work with than that. The numbers are more simple. And because it's the same equation, what I'm actually going to do is I'm not even going to simplify this equation here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. So now we just have to solve this and that. That's going to give us the same solution. What I can do is do elimination. And basically, what I'm going to do is get rid of the x's. So I'm going to take this new equation. I'm going to multiply it by 5 to get this 4x to equal 20x as well. So. 5 times 4x would give us 20x. Uh, 5 times 5 would give us 25. And then 79 times 5 would give us uh, 395, like that. And so now what we could do is we can subtract these. Right, the 20x's are going to go away, so 20x minus 20x is 0. 34y minus 25y would give us uh, 9y. And then 458 minus 395 would give us, uh, what, 63? And then notice now we could divide by 9. y is 7. So that's the price of a student ticket. So y is equal to $7. Now, you could have gone about this a totally different way. You could have maybe isolated for something. Doing substitution is going to be a little tougher with this. The numbers are going to get pretty big. The fractions you're going to work with are going to get pretty big. I did it one way, but whichever way you do it, just make sure that you're getting this y value of 7. And now if we want to get the corresponding x value, we could plug it in to either or of the uh, original equation. So I'm going to actually plug it into this one. So I'll have 20x plus 34 times 7 equals 458. So we'll have 20x plus this over here would give us what? Um, 238. 
and then we'll have 220, right? When we bring the 238 over, 458 minus 238 gives us 220. 20x, divide both sides by 20, x would be 11, right? So that's the price of, um, of an adult ticket. Right, so that's the final answer. If you wanna make a concluding statement, you can also do that as well. And then you can also check this. You could take this, plug it into the original equations, make sure that when we plug in x of 11, y for seven, we would get 632. And then over here, we would plug in 11 for x, seven for y, uh, multiply these, then add them, and then we should get 458.